Hello everyone, this is Height Journey. This is my last video for 2023. It's December 30th, 2023. And it's time for another physical therapy progress video since my femur rod removal surgery. So here's a recap since I haven't done one in a while. On October 18th, I had surgery to remove my precise 2.2 nails in my femurs and the distal syndesmotic screws in my ankles. On November 28th, I developed an infection on my right ankle where the syndesmotic screw was removed. I contacted Dr. Asiag, who prescribed antibiotics. Over a week later, the ankle infection was fully healed. I have resumed my physical therapy and workout recovery since my ankle infection fully healed in early December. I have more videos of my physical therapy progress taking on December 30th. I am also comparing them to my last video progress on November 19th. First, the leg press machine. Last time I had a video showing I was doing it at 170 pounds. I've increased it to 210 pounds. The next video shows me doing a sample of 10 reps. I'm definitely getting stronger at the hips and the upper legs. I estimate at 270 pounds or so, I will be able to do full athletics. Next is a standing calf raise machine. I've made a major accomplishment as I can do all 20 plates. Last time I was doing 15, now I'm at 20. So I have full strength at my ankle and foot joint area. The next exercise is the treadmill, which measures my walking gait and ability to walk and run. Last time I was fast walking at 3.6 miles per hour before rod removal surgery. And last November, after rod removal surgery, I reached a new speed of 4.2 miles per hour, which is in the jogging range. Right now, my greater priority is to build more stamina rather than run faster. My stamina is weak and needs more improvement and improving my stamina is more practical for now. Before femur rod removal surgery, I was walking 3.6 miles per hour for one mile. I am practicing walking or jogging 4.0 miles per hour for one mile. However, I am only able to walk about 0.30 mile at that speed. The next video shows me fast walking 4.0 miles per hour for 0.25 mile or a quarter of a mile.
future plans. I have my next doctor's appointment with x-rays on January 8th. This is to determine if my tibias are consolidated enough for tibia rod removal surgery. My highest priority in my physical recovery progress is to improve my stamina. My specific goal is walking 4.0 miles per hour for one mile with ease. I will publish my new rod removal surgery video after my tibia rod removal surgery, so that will be the most comprehensive rod removal video.